Hello, my beautiful people. Guys, do you know that my mommy plants pineapples? And they're really, really sweet. Yeah. So, guys, I don't think you need a better introduction than that one. So, yes. As you see, we are in the country at the Pineapple Farm. I'm here just giving you an update as to what's happening from the time that we are cleaning up the, prop, the, 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 the farm to what's happening now. And as you can see, we are having pineapples very, 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 very soon. Maybe in about the next uh, month are so we should be able to reap pineapples so stick around for us to just keep you informed as to what happens so they have a quote that states patience is bitter but its fruit is sweet and I can definitely attest to that. It's been a very long time waiting because I planted these pineapple plants in maybe about 2020, 2021, thereabout. Last year we got, they did bear last year, but it was just um, one one, you know. We didn't get a, a very abundant amount of bear from the crop. And, uh, you know, due to the, lot, the, the rain, we had a lot of rain last year. But this year we had no rain at all it's a lot of drought the earth is so dry guys i am hoping that we'll get a shower of rain on these crops at least before the fruit comes to maturity so they will you know as you're looking at them you see they're a bit small normally they would be bigger i can tell you that because the set that we got last year they were bigger than these sets so i'm hoping that we get a bit of rain to you know spruce up the growth of the fat pineapple fruits guys i'm also always open for suggestions or advice so you can leave a comment in the comment section just to let me know what um what are some of the things that i can do or what are some of the organic products that i can add to my plant, pineapple plants to get a better production of pineapples
guys i really love this view to just sit you know just sit and take in all that that nature has to offer you know look at the bamboos the different trees the palm trees you know it's just it's just so wonderful as we can see in front of us um that's a yam field being prepared so the property is being prepared to have a yam field there so we cut down some trees and burn down some and you know prepare up the land to plant the yam eating pie in a long time ago now maybe about two three years now but because it's my production i've decided to have a taste all right so. enjoying it Been having um, night number one. To know that we have been having a lot of sun, it was expected for them to be sweet. The heat, the sun is what helps to um, caramelize the 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 juice into the fruit for it to get its sweetness. So it was expected that it would be sweet. But the trouble that I'm having now is um. Sometimes, I'll, they say a little bit of everything good for you, but not too much of one thing, because it is good for the um for the sun. The sun is good for the pineapples, but in that same breath, too much sun is not very good. Guys, this is my grandmother showing me her little farm. She planted some um, pak choy, turnip, tomatoes, and um, peas. So, you see, we all have to try something, you know, because our living is so high these days. On um, average, you know, I spend like maybe about $15,000 every week on groceries. You can probably cut down some of those costs by um, planting some vegetables and cut down the cost to buy meat items and so on. So you have to think smart and try to save a dollar every time because money no go up on tree. So guys, remember now you can start by planting in small containers, cups, buckets, and you know those little stuff. At the end of the day, you feel well appreciated upon reaping these crops. So start small. And you'll definitely reach somewhere. But if you don't start any at all, you'll never get anywhere. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe!